The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. David said to Eliab, is there not a cause? If you read the next verse, David turned away from Eliab and spoke to somebody else. He turned away from Eliab. Read it for me. Read it for me. Verse 30. And he turned from him toward another and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. He turned away from him. If somebody is wasting your time and distracting you from the focus, just turn away from him and talk to somebody that is thinking right. There is no point engaging scoffers. Some people are just scoffers. Don't waste your energy on them. They are not ready to be saved. Any energy on put on them is a waste. Look for people that are ready to be saved. Those are the people that deserve your strength. There are three kinds of people. Number one, people that are ignorant because they don't know. With them, you are patient. With them, you take time to explain. With them, you patiently explain and explain. Then there's another second category. There are those who don't know that they don't know. They don't know that they don't know. With such people, you try to be patient. But there's a third category. There are those who are wrong, but they feel bad that you are the one that is right. They are wrong, but you feel bad. They feel bad that you are the one that is right. Like one of them who took me to America to report me to their white Holy Spirit. And their white Holy Spirit told them, go back and preach the cross. Go back and preach the cross. Their white Holy Spirit told them that if I were you, I would change my message. They pointed them back to us. Am I communicating at all? When I came among you, I desired to know nothing. Save Christ and him crucified. For the preaching of the cross to those that perish is foolishness. But unto us that are saved is the power of God. I didn't hear somebody shout glory in this place. Some people are wrong. But they feel bad that you are the one that is right. And then they will fight everything you say. And then they will look for how to, to, how to re, 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 rearrange what you said. And say it in another way so it doesn't sound like it is you. But those who know what we say, anyhow you arrange it, they will know where it is coming from. If someone comes online, and this is because all of us are online now. You put up our messages online and someone comes to your space and act like he lacks home training. And he looks like a product of bad pastoring. There are two things to do. Number one, B L O C K. Mengo Rotoseke. Did you get that communication of the spirit? B L O C K. Number two, D E L E T E. Those are the two words of the spirit. When you do that, you are walking in the spirit. If you didn't understand, touch your neighbor, ask him for interpretation of tongues. <laughs> that is how to walk in love on social media. Is there not a cause? David turned away from his brother and spoke to someone else. Don't engage coffers. Many of them are cowards. They can't even reason intelligently from the scripture. Some of them will say, Dr. De Dr. Damina is a heretic. He's a heretic. That's not it now. Preach your own that is not heresy. Let's hear your own and hear Damina's own and look at the two of them. Leave us to judge who is heretic. Many don't have a message. I have become their message. Damina, 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 Damina. They like the name. You can give it to your first son. When people cannot 
engage intelligently, they insult your person. When people lack sound intelligence, they resort to unschooled ways of responding, which is personal attacks. We attack nobody. We call nobody names. We teach the word of God. And if there's something that is not sound biblically, if you put it in public space and we see it, we will respond to you in public space. It's as easy as that. Because we want to put the record straight. We are preaching the gospel, but we have a responsibility to protect the gospel that we are preaching. Am I communicating at all? It's called apologetics. It's called the defense of the gospel. And it's a combative word. A combative word. That's what Paul calls the weapons of our warfare are not canal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling. That's not a scripture for fighting village witches. That's a scripture for engaging mindsets, ideologies, and no one sees that insult the sensibilities of the holy written word. We engage. We are combative. And we stay there until those who are opposing the truth are submitted and have become obedience to the knowledge of Christ. If I'm teaching, say I hear you. If it is the gospel, none of us has a personal right to it. Paul said, judge what I say. It's only a fraudulent person that is afraid of being judged. If you teach something that is the word of God, Bible says it should be judged. If you prophesy, he said, let two or three prophets judge your prophecy. Let it be subjected to scrutiny. Once you are teaching the word of God in public space, be ready to be scrutinized. Your doctrine will be scrutinized. It is not hatred. It is actually love. It is scrutinized for two reasons. Number one, if you are wrong, you will be corrected. Number two, those who are hearing you, if you are wrong, they will be saved from swallowing rubbish. That's how much you love the word of God. When you love the word of God, you scrutinize what people teach. Especially if what they are teaching is in public space. And if you don't want to be scrutinized, please switch off the cameras and stay within the four walls of your local assembly. And even then, there are people there that are hearing us that will scrutinize you. Thank God for social media. They are hearing us. They will say, Pastor. Pastor. <laughs> the pastor is still preaching. A member will do like this. <laughs> the pastor has to start beating fast. Do, 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 do. <laughs> if you don't want that, then preach it right. Somebody say, I hear you. I'm not hearing you. <laughs> you know, brother Luke included the experience from Berea. You know the Bereans. He included it for a purpose. To know that anyone who speaks from scripture should be ready for public scrutiny. The only thing is that don't insult us. Scrutinize our message by bringing a superior argument. Don't insult us. Because if you insult us, then what you're looking for is no more gospel. You're no more looking for sound Bible teaching. You're looking for something else. If what you're looking for is sound gospel, scrutinize what we're teaching and bring from the scriptures that we're teaching it a superior argument and explanation. Don't just say, Damina is a madman. Who is not mad? Even you that is talking is madness that made you say it. Madness is not a personal anointing. It's our collective responsibility. We can be mad whenever we want to be mad. What are you talking about? <laughs> Am I teaching at all? Am I teaching at all? The Bible says the spiritual man is mad. Have you not seen it in your Bible? Don't bother yourself about scoffers. Preach the truth. Stay with it and make it very loud. Did you hear what I said? Preach the truth. Stay with it and make it very loud.
preach it boldly with gusto, according to Dr. Gabriel. Add gusto to it. Make it very loud and clear. Someone told me there are scriptures for losing salvation. And I said to him, go and listen to Soteria season 3. When you finish, come back, let's talk. Sometimes when they bring those scriptures for losing salvation, it's because they fail to know the difference between salvation, conduct, and ministry. So since they don't know those three different things that are covered in the epistles, when they see scriptures of conduct, which is spiritual growth, they call it salvation. When they see the scripture of reward for ministry that people can lose for certain behaviors, they call it salvation. They don't know the difference. So there is need for people to be properly taught so they understand biblical concepts in light of scripture to be able to know how to rightly divide the word of truth. In Soteria 3, we explain can a believer lose salvation very seriously? About 35 to 40 hours. Including that Hebrews chapter 6. Which is even the main scripture for not losing salvation. We explain it very clearly. It's so clear that the doubter will know he's an anointed doubter. We explain it so clearly. So clearly. Glory to God. So that when people listen to what we taught. The only reason they will say no. Is because no is their way of consent. David turned away from Eliab. Learn to turn away. Is there not a cause? Some people just want to engage you to distract you. But you must stay focused. Stay focused in revealing Christ. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also, like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.